original, let's say, highway trucks. These were high horsepower, big, long, heavy trucks. Could haul big, heavy loads. My favorite is obviously the, the 60s and 70s and 80s Max because they, they that's where, you know, built like a Mac truck came from. Mac is all about functional design. It's not designed to be you know, trendy or gimmicky, so we want it to be everlasting. Mac, it's always will be, by definition, a future classic. So what we wanted to create there was actually, like lots of older models, this vehicle in about 20 or 30 years' time will be a classic. I mean, it really goes back to when we relaunched the brand back in 2014, you know. And what does that mean to relaunch a brand? Well, the most obvious result was a new logo, right? But the effort was about far more than a new logo. It was really about re-establishing a true north for Mac. We wanted to make sure that the customer had the best experience when they stand in front of that truck, when they're behind the wheel, when they're in the sleeper box, or when they're standing beside of it. We want it to be a durable product. We want it to be what Mac's all about. We want it to be bold and strong. You've got investments in the Uptime Center. You've got investments in technology from connectivity. You've got investments now in product that the market is seeing. At the same time, our dealers over the last two years have invested over a half a billion dollars in their facilities. What you see there is a true partnership between the OEM and the distribution network providing solutions that are going to give customers answers that they continue to look for. We do have the total package now. Something that is very functional, but also has what the customers want and need to be productive and to, frankly, feel proud of what they're driving. That's a badass truck. It's like... Badass. Man, this is just badass. I, I'll go with badass when this is a badass truck. I mean, when I say badass, what I'm talking about is, you know, a refusal to be stopped. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Executive Vice President Volvo Group and President Mack Trucks, Denny Slagle. Good evening, and welcome to this very special evening. We want to particularly welcome those of you whose travel here was affected by the catastrophic impact of hurricanes Harvey and Emma. Our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone touched by these terrible storms. Of course, some of our Mac family could not attend, and we hope they have been able to join us along with the thousands of other that are streaming this event live on the web. Before we move on with the program, allow me to recognize some of the special guests we have, we have here tonight. First, we are honored to have Leif Pogroski of the Swedish Consulate in New York. He was quick to accept an invitation to learn more about the Mac business, and we are happy to have him here with us tonight. I'm also very pleased to have several of my colleagues from the group executive board who've taken the time out to be here tonight. Let me introduce them. First, Jan Grander, Deputy CEO and CFO. <laughs> Jan Olson, EVP Group Trucks Operations. <laughs> Sophia Fronberg, EVP Group Legal and Compliance. Helena Landersberger, Executive Assistant and Head of the CEO Office. <laughs> Lars Stinquist, Head of Group Technology. <laughs> and finally, the man, the leader, and the Mac believer, yeah. CEO of the Volvo Group, Martin Lustead. Say a few words, Martin. Thank you very much, Danny, and uh, welcome, everyone. 
Uh, welcome to this uh, fantastic night. Uh, I love my I love my job. I can tell you I'm a, I'm a truck guy. Uh, more than 25 years in the industry, and I love to go to work or to travel to work or be in a plane or whatever every day. But there are days that are extremely special, and this is one of those days actually. For me. It's almost like, you know, becoming a child again. Uh, and it's like Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, uh, when you, you, you want it to pass by a little bit so you can get your, you know, gifts, etc. But you don't want it to go away because you just want to, to experience that for, for a long time with, with good friends, family, and all of the people that has been part of this journey that is actually coming together this very night. So, very special day for all of us. At the same time, what is interesting to see is that the world is also changing very quickly. And that means that we need to continue to follow that change and to lead that change. I think Allentown in itself is a good example of that. The Lehigh Valley and the Lehigh Valley uh, changing over the years from a strong industrial footprint. And as you see today, what has actually reborn the Lehigh Valley is logistics big logistical centers, and at the same time, I'm proud to say that we are standing for the two, th two sides of this. We still a very strong manufacturing footprint here in Lehigh Valley operations in Mekanjian that I know that some of you already have visited, and I just welcome everyone to do so, to see how strong the tree team we have there, showing that uh, American handcraft, uh, the American uh, uh, professionalism still exists, even if there are a lot of talks about that we are not competitive. I can just say that is not true. We have a great, great factory. We have a great team. We have great competence. Having said that, the world is also changing in a way with logistics and other things that mobility will become even more important. Mobility of people, obviously, but also mobility of goods. And the only thing we know that that will increase and at the same time, it must become much more sustainable in the long run. Financial viable, social ethically, and obviously environmental viable. And there we, both as a group, and in particular Mac, trucks, can play a very important role. And it's exciting to see how many things now are coming together for us to be part of that. Both when it comes to uh, our core heritage of vocational application excellence, but also when it comes to the highway presence where we have been and where we will be also in the future. As the president and CEO, and on behalf of my colleagues in the group executive board, I can tell you that we are extremely proud owners of Mack trucks. But having said that, it comes with a big responsibility. It comes with an extremely big responsibility to continue to develop a brand that is over 100 years and that has been built by people, by families, uh, over many, many decades. We believe in the strength of a global group, but we also believe in the independence, the agility, the innovation power of our different brands. And that is the reason why we as owners are saying to our brands, we have 10 different business areas, that you are responsible for what you are doing. You are responsible for your customer satisfaction, for your partnerships, for your growth, for your profitability journey in order to refund also future investments. That is our main principle. That is creating entrepreneurship, accountability, passion. But we are saying a second principle, being part of us, means also that you can pull a lot of the different aspects of innovation in new technologies, yeah. learning from each other, in order to improve number one in order to improve the journey of each brand, each business area. 
And I think what we see now with Mac over the last couple of years, and I think uh, Jonathan Randall expressed that very nicely in, in the first uh, set of, of uh, the video here. Things are now coming together. Investments from many of you sitting here, believing in our joint brand of Mac trucks, when it comes to the product, when it comes to the connectivity journey where we have a leading position. And that is what it's all about, actually. Things are coming together. And if you think about what Mac trucks, and I mean, since I was a young kid, I mean, you know, what is the American brand of trucks? It's Mac. Application excellence, dedicated people, the variety of different specifications for different states in America, in the United States, in Canada, in Mexico, in South America, in Australia. I've been to many countries in Europe and Middle East and Africa where they're longing to see that coming back as well. So, so the force of the brand, the bulldog. My two daughters are saying to me, Dad, great to be in the truck industry, but even greater to have the bulldog. <laughs> they just love the bulldog. And why do they love the bulldog? If you, th if you see the bulldog, loyal, it's not a dog, it's a bulldog. Loyal, forward looking, Strength, Mack trucks. You know, when I just feel that, I feel also that we are now taking a new milestone for Mack trucks. The new product we will come back to, obviously, but for me, when I saw that, before, I had pre sneak a couple of uh, quarters ago, I can tell you. <laughs> it was just fantastic. You just felt that this is Mack, this is a platform that is expressing where we are coming from but it's also a, a, a platform that is a contender for everything we need for the future in terms of, in terms of powertrain, in terms of connectivity, in terms of comfort, uptime, productivity, durability, application excellence. It's a platform that will actually provide all the things that we need in order to move forward. Having said that, we will continue with a high pace, high frequency, to continue to invest in the products, in the services. We are doing big investments now in our production facilities in the North American footprint. Many of you, thank you for that also. And uh, I think the customers are thanking us together that they see that investments are doing in, in the network also. Because what I love about this business is B2B. Our customers have faces. We know them, and they, want, they are putting their bets into to our basket, so to speak. And they need to feel that we are doing that as a team, as we are doing it together. I know that many of you also, our dear customers, are looking to this event, and I can promise you that we are standing firm behind the Mack Trucks brand. Having said that, obviously we are investing in the different parts here. I just want to come back to the most important here, obviously, and that is the people. We had a breakfast meeting today with the launch team, and that was obviously a fragment of the launch team uh, representing so many people in the organization that has been working for this very day to come true. Jim, who is our global product leader for this project in technology, expressed the vision as 110. That has been the case now for the whole project. And what does that stand for? Maybe you saw the t-shirt on in the video. One team, one direction, zero excuses. I think that is just great. And I think also, if you think about Mack trucks and you talk to different people about it, what does it stand for? It stands for family, the Mack family and everything what that is worth for our customers again. For me, just to end this presentation, I would like to say that that is for me coming through in one person, representing the Mack Trucks brand globally. And that is 
Mr. Dennis Legel. Then if you come up here, I think, <laughs> Danny, I think that <laughs> as the undercover boss, I think he's the visible boss today, <laughs> by the way. He's the visible boss. And, and when I think about the Mack trucks and the brand, it's not only about the president, obviously. It's about thousands of dedicated people in the network, our customer base in our operations. But that is actually channeled through your passion for this brand. <laughs> for your fantastic passion for that brand. And that is why I'm looking forward to continue to work with all of you to drive this, to make sure that we are regaining the position where we should be. And that is the true north. And it's the true north of much more than 10% all over the globe. <laughs> looking forward to work with you. It will be a great night. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. Um, <clears throat> so here we are. I've had the privilege of leading Mac for almost 10 years. During that time, I've been amazed and inspired by the people who build, sell, support, and use Mac trucks. Over 117 years, we have been doing this. No doubt, we have helped build America. But just importantly, we've empowered and enriched generations of passionate Mac employees, dealers, and customers. All of us here tonight are part of something special. And Martin referred to it. Something that just isn't another business or another product. The emotions connected to Mac have always been like the emotions connected with a family. Not without struggles and disappointments, but always enduring love and loyalty. So here we, here we are. Because we have mutually invested in the future, the pieces are finally coming together. The trucks are performing on our brand promise of reliability, durability, and application excellence. Max new greenhouse gas 17 engine and the incredible M-Drive transmission are creating believers across the country and frankly producing a drive that can't be m matched by competition. The Uptime Center is a leading the industry in customer care and connectivity. Your distribution network has continuously improved in all areas as a result of your unwavering investment in facilities, training, technology, and customer success. We stand today with over 100 certified Uptime Centers, and that number is growing every day. In the past year, I've personally visited fantastic new Mac facilities in Salt Lake, Vancouver, Toronto, Panama City, and Nextran's magnificent Atlanta showpiece. That's only a few of the 38 new branches and renovations added to the network in 2016 and thus far in 2017. And there's more breaking ground or nearing completion like Tri-State in Little Rock, general truck sales in Toledo, Tech's mega facility in uh, Fontana, California. Mac marketing and brand positioning have been updated with new signage and full utilization of the latest digital and social media. We have also in it, renovated the Mac Customer Center and the plant to optimize the experience we're offering visiting customers. So here we are. Our progress hasn't been easy in every initiative. But, we are started, but they are starting to pay off. <clears throat> the new by Halea Parts warehouse is giving consistently strong parts availability now. Scout Pro is a slick and effective tool to help dealers manage opportunities. TSP is now fully implemented in North America and with the help and patience of a committed dealer reference group, we can now begin to see the benefits on lead time, delivery precision, and factory efficiency. The new paint system coming out of NRV promises to deliver the best paint Mac has ever had. The $70 million invested in tooling, material flow, quality assurance under the Reborn initiative at our factory at LVO it is turning LVO into a world-class manufacturing and assembly operation. So here we are. Mac wouldn't be a family unless we were pushing each other to be our best. 
But whatever your view of the journey so far, I think you will be convinced tonight that we have arrived at an important milepost. This launch should be seen as a new day, a new start, a game changer for our beloved Mac brand. This event is just the beginning of a comprehensive plan to capitalize on the introduction of these great new products. I predict that when truckers get a full view of these products, your phone is going to start ringing, and customers you haven't heard from for, from for a while, or maybe ever, will be wanting a closer look. So here we are. Many of you heard me talk about the fundamental importance of knowing and selling the why we do what we do. Customers don't really decide just based on what a company does or how it does it. Ultimately, final decisions are driven by a connection made with the why, the intangible that puts the mind at ease. And throughout our history, the why for Mac has been very clear. Mac is an iconic American brand. Trucking is in our blood. We know it, we live it. Mac builds strong, durable trucks made for the job. Trucks that just plain work day in and day out. We're passionate about trucks. We're passionate about helping our customers. We're passionate about our brand and its future. Yes, the journey is not over. Some of the pieces are still coming together. But I promise you that the best days for Mac are still to come. After today, the game changes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senior Vice President, Mack Trucks, North America Sales, Jonathan Randall. Woo! It's a longer walk than it looks, but I, something big's coming out, I would expect. Um, so about 30 years ago, I decided it would be a good idea to jump out of an airplane when it was at 3,000 feet. And there's something distinct about jumping out of an airplane and watching it fly away as you plummet to the earth. At that time, usually the biggest person on the fuselage jumps first, and even 20 years ago, that was me. So I went, shoot open, everybody was wishing they were first. Well, I'm in the back now in the fuselage watching Martin come out, shoots open, he does a few fancy tricks, sticks to landing, fantastic. Then he jumps, shoot opens, a few more fancy tricks, nails the landing. So here I am, fingers crossed, the shoot opens. <laughs> but here's the thing, I'm not worried about sticking the landing. As long as the shoot opens, what you're going to see tonight nails it. That sticks the landing. So we are excited for what we're going to see. So many people have been working so hard for a long while to get to this exact moment. And it couldn't come fast enough. But now that we're here, let's slow down a little bit and make sure we don't miss the little things that are so important and make moments like this so memorable. Mostly celebrating in the company of your colleagues and your friends and quite honestly, your family. Everyone here has a different history with our brand and with our business, but with a common goal to meet our customers' needs by providing the industry's best transportation solutions. So congratulations to everyone here. As mentioned by Denny, you have all played an important role getting us to where we find ourselves today. Thank you for that. In oh, great, yes. In the book, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, Robert Persig has a, writes, says, sometimes it's a little better to travel than to arrive. Well, with all due respect, the journey's been fun, but let's get this party started. <laughs> and about those little things. It occurs to me that in the 18 months that I've been fortunate to be part of this family and that you've welcomed me in, all my speech slots to address the assembled masses usually have me standing between you and something you really want. <laughs> Whether it be food, drinks, 
a bathroom break or an open bar. So here we are again, with me standing between you and your first look at Max, as you heard, and you will see, badass new truck. It's good news and bad. Good news is I've only been allotted five minutes. Bad news is I am going to take every last second given to me. 154, 153, 152. Because there are certain moments in life and in a career that must be savored, and this is absolutely one of those moments. As previously mentioned, we are all part of something bigger tonight. As a promise to those who work so hard to build this company and build this business, to the generations before us that built the brand and built this country using a truck we were fortunate enough to supply during the process. These prior generations, initially they may have been called industrialists or innovators or visionaries. The term du jour now, disruptors. It doesn't matter. Term does not matter. Not to those affiliated with Mack Trucks, our customers, our dealers, our employees. For 117 years, for three generations, sometimes four, for those that came before us in this room and elsewhere, who built their business on and with Mack Trucks, it was always just the job. Deliver new, better, more efficient ways to get the work needing to get done, done. And provide those tools to help our customers achieve success, one historic and disruptive advancement at a time. Like the first motorized hook and ladder truck in 1910. First truck to use a drive shaft rather than a chain. First to produce its own heavy duty diesel engine in 1938. I mean, the list goes on. First engine mounted air to air intercooler for turbocharger. How sexy is that, right? The industry shifting, pun intended, M drive in 2011. And the first OEM to implement an uptime center dedicated solely to customer productivity in 2014. In fact, creating history is what Mac has done during its 117 years of building commercial vehicles. So it's no wonder when the industry, the entire world, takes notice when we have something to share. And our teaser campaign has attracted interest from thousands of people across the globe, all wanting to know what is next for Mack Truck. And as the American truck you can count on, it is our calling, it is our why, to provide customers with solutions to their transportation needs. And we are not here for participation trophies. We are here to make history. Ladies and gentlemen, I am fortunate to have the distinct privilege of introducing Mac's newest addition to its lineup. Please join me in welcoming the Mac Anthem. Global Marketing and Brand Management, John Walsh. Wow. 
Wow. What a night. And what a time to be part of the Mack Trucks family. It's great to see so many familiar faces. And it's great to see so many new ones as well. And a shout out to everyone joining us via the web as well. Is that not an awesome looking truck or what? The new Mac Anthem, unlike anything the road has ever seen. And the next step in all the great work that we and you, our dealers here tonight, have done together over the past several years. We're going to spend the next few minutes walking through some of Anthem's key features. We won't cover everything. More of a highlight reel here tonight setting the stage for deeper dives during the seminars tomorrow. But make no mistake, this is the right highway truck for North America. Everything about the new Mac Anthem, from the outside in and the inside out, is built for business and designed for drivers. It captures everything that has made Mac great and what we need to continue forging a bright future moving forward. Anthem was designed under three essential principles. Build an unmistakably Mac truck that is also unmistakably modern. Offer outstanding aerodynamics and fuel efficiency and deliver revolutionary driver comfort. The result is a dramatic new design that's extremely efficient and built around the driver, but also screams strong, screams hardworking, screams Mac. Danny and Jonathan have talked about it. We are an American brand. We were born here. We were raised here. We literally helped build this country. And today we are proud to be the only heavy duty truck manufacturer who can still say that every truck we sell in America is still built here in America, right down the road at our Lehigh Valley operations. The name Anthem speaks to that American spirit. This new truck for today's highway features a new exterior, a new driver environment, and a new sleeper or living environment. And coming down the road, even from a distance, no question, it's a Mac. The first thing you can't help but notice is Anthem's new grill, with a distinctive bridge across the front bearing the Mac word mark. Big, bold, strong. Anthem comes in three configurations, a day cab, a 48-inch flat top sleeper, and a 70-inch stand-up sleeper, all available with a roof fairing. We have two 70-inch stand-ups here tonight, both with that fairing. It really is a badass looking truck. You know, that big, unmistakable grill, those big, strong shoulders. But the visibility is still fantastic, even better than our current model, which is saying a lot. Anthem is also extremely aerodynamic, providing up to a 3% fuel efficiency gain with the 70-inch stand-up and a 1.5% improvement with the day cab, proving that a truck doesn't have to look like a jelly bean to get great fuel economy. There are two trim packages, bold black and mirror chrome bright, incorporated into the grill and bumper, headlamp and fog lamp bezels, and air intakes. A three-piece bumper delivers improved serviceability and lower repair costs. Just replace the damage section 
instead of the whole thing. Headlamps, turn signals, fog lights, marker lights, all LED. Longer lasting, use less energy, significantly brighter. In fact, Anthem's new LED headlamps are 66% brighter than incandescent versions. The new hood is made of three pieces as well, which can be replaced separately if damaged. The hood also features an automotive-style release latch in the grill and requires 50% less effort to tilt open. A straightforward, functional change that both drivers and technicians will appreciate. Another distinctive Anthem feature, new hood mirrors. Not only does the aerodynamic design reduce drag, it also improves safety by delivering a great field of view and reducing blind spots. And unlike the old tripod style, these new hood mirrors fold out of the way on impact to reduce the chance of damage. The design of the breakaway mirrors has also been improved. New mirror covers, stronger materials, no plastic in the hinges, spring-loaded mounts. All new grab handles made of thick, extruded aluminum. They feel very Mac. The grippy contoured surface improves safety. Overall, a more ergonomic pro profile, another outcome of listening to customers and drivers during the development process. So that's a quick look at the outside of the new Mac Anthem. Let's turn now to the inside. In developing this new interior, we spent years listening to drivers, dove into every detail about how they use their trucks. We'd come up with a design, get driver feedback, refine the design, and repeat until we got it right. The result, an interior designed by drivers for drivers. Anthem's new interior comes in three trim levels, standard, premium, and ultra, each with different colors and materials, all look and feel fantastic. The new driver environment sets a new standard for our industry. The instrument panel has an intuitive design with an automotive-inspired controls, digital analog gauges, and a five-and-a-half-inch full-color co-pilot display. We also now have trucking's first flat-bottom steering wheel with the solid grip of a premium car and easing entry and exit. It can be a smart wheel, too, with illuminated controls for cruise, Bluetooth, and infotainment. More control at the driver's fingertips through redesigned stocks. The right stock manages the engine brake and co-pilot, the left high beams, turn signals, and wipers. An optional 7-inch touchscreen infotainment display interfaces with the smart steering wheel in managing tools like Sirius XM, Weather Band, TomTom Tom Truck Navigation, Apple CarPlay, and backup cameras. Rugged new rocker switches with laser etched labels that won't fade or rub off. Key switch placements are now standardized across models, but still plenty of open slots for customization. On top of the dash, a mobile phone charging station with a non-slip surface. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Lights are managed through an automotive-inspired control module, reachable from the ground. When it comes to seats, we partnered with Sears to come up with a Mac-exclusive design that's extremely comfortable and durable, available in 30 feature and function combinations. A redesigned doghouse provides ready access to the back of the engine. Another example of improved serviceability. Like everything about this new truck, the sleeper or living environment is also the result of listening closely to drivers and investigating new materials and designs. When it comes to the 70-inch, 
Stand up means just that. Even someone well over six feet tall can stand up straight next to the driver's seat and walk through into the sleeper without having to duck. Once there, a driver will find 35% more space, as roomy as anything on the market today. Anthem's best-in-class storage means there's also a place for every piece of the driver's gear. The 70-inch stand-up can be configured with up to 27 cubic feet of storage, enough to store about 19,000 golf balls, or more than 2,000 cans of beer. Not that we're advocating that, but in a cabinets, work surfaces, wardrobes, and shelving keep the space organized, functional, ready to work. All of the interior lighting, LED as well, with multiple sources for different tasks, including ambient, task, and background lighting. Additional amenities include prep kits with wiring for a refrigerator, flat screen TV, and microwave, multiple electrical and USB outlets, tilt open sleeper windows with built in shades and screens that let air in but keep rain out, a new sleeper curtain that efficiently and effectively darkens the living space when it's time to rest. In general, plenty of flexibility for customers to choose the setup that works best for them, including single or double bunks. With the new Mac Anthem, we're delivering not only an outstanding new product, but a total solution that is second to none. Under Anthem's hood is the highly proven, high-performing Mac integrated powertrain that we pioneered more than a century ago. Today, featuring our game-changing M-Drive AMT. And those fuel efficiency gains we talked about earlier, 3% with the 70-inch stand-up, 1.5% with the day cab, those are on top of what we're delivering with our Greenhouse Gas 17 powertrains today. Anthem also comes standard with our industry-leading approach to maximizing uptime keeping our customers' trucks where they should be, on the road, generating revenue. We have been preparing for this day for some time now, guys. The tremendous investments that you have made in new facilities, more service bays, more technicians, the tremendous investments that we have made in our facilities and capabilities, all of this great work that we have done together, laying the groundwork for this day, for this moment. A moment that history will look back upon as pivotal in the story of the Mac brand. How that story turns out, it's up to us. We already have the best powertrain in the business. I mean, M-Drive, come on. Our dealers, you guys, second to none. No one can touch the combination of people and technology that we bring to maximizing customer uptime. And now we get this? It's almost not fair. <laughs> but we know that it's still going to take a heck of a lot of hard work. The competition has not stood still. We're going to have to continue to fight for every deal. But bring it on. Because we are Mack Trucks. We never back down from a challenge. Stop only when the job is done. That's what being born ready is all about. Which brings us to this guy. Country music artist, Steve Mokler. Some of you might know Steve from his latest album, Steel Town. Over the past several months, we've worked with Steve on a song specifically for this launch. A song to help spread the word about this great new product in an unexpected way. 
Steve hails from this great state of Pennsylvania <laughs> and has proven that it's still possible to build a music career the old-fashioned way through hard work and miles on the road. The song that Steve has written for us acknowledges what Mac has always been about and tips a cap to professional truck drivers. It's called, What Else? Born Ready. <laughs> You're about to hear from Steve via video about the process of creating it, followed by a music video of the song itself. Thanks so much for your time and attention this evening. And thanks again for all the great work that so many of you have done paving the way for this day, this launch, the next giant step in the unparalleled journey of the American truck you can count on. Long live Mack Trucks. On this latest record we did it's called Steel Town and there's a song on there called Siddle Saloon that's about my grandfather. It's about a bar in his basement. In the second verse there's a line that says, Grandpa and his brothers back when they were young would come down here once they unloaded those trucks. He and his brothers had a concrete block trucking company called Lytle Brothers Concrete and they had a, a small fleet of Mack flatbed trucks and, and he was a mechanic. He, he fixed them and uh, he drove them too, but that was his main job over there, so I guess I do have a connection. I was texting my mom and told her we were going in to record the song, and she, she found this picture. And that, it made me really, really excited to get in here. The first line is, you know, we're the long haulers coming down the right lane. And I, and I thought it would be cool to make it a we, you know, Cause, because I think it can be such an isolating job. Um, but there's so many of them out there together, making making this whole thing work, making our country work. I thought it'd be cool to make it a we, something that's uniting. You know, one of the reasons I feel connected to this song is because we're on the road so much doing what we do. And I'm at a stage in my career where we're not in a tour bus or, you know, we're, we're in, in a van and trailer and we actually sleep in truck stops every night. We pull in, uh, you know, right between two semis and have it on high idle, just like all the trucks. Our, our rig's real small compared to theirs, but, um, so this past year, I've really just been, I've been out there with them, you know? Sleeping in the same spots, going in the subway, and trucker showers. So it was a cool time to get asked to write this song because I feel like in a lot of ways that we were, you know, doing the same thing. I always think about them because I get to have my band out there, and we also get, you know, people clap for us every night when we play music, and I think about these guys who are really doing just the hard part of what we do, and no one's clapping for them, and they don't have a bunch of buddies around them, you know, traveling, so, so I know how lonely it is when you do have all that stuff going on, and I can only imagine that's gotta be a lot harder for them.
That American road song It goes on You're making me cry. <laughs> I, got a, I got some tears up here. <laughs> what a fantastic night, and what a great song. It was written by Steve for this occasion. And what a touching tribute to the long haul trucker, which makes up the biggest part of this industry. And by the way, uh, I want to add my welcome to the new anthem. It's no accident that Steve sings out the red, white, and blue in his chorus and that the flag is etched into the Anthem logo. Mack, has been said many times, Mack trucks have been built in Lehigh Valley with engines and transmissions from Hagerstown for generations. Built by Americans for Americans. Mack has entered the American lexicon. We are part of the vocabulary and part of the American landscape, and we help build a lot of it. If any truck deserves to be called Anthem, it is a Mac. <laughs> now let's grow with it. So before I close, can I ask you to give everyone who brought this night together a big round of applause. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Now, in some orderly way, I want to invite you to make your way back to the back of the room for a nice bonus to help celebrate this evening. We actually have Steve and his band with us here tonight to play the soon to be number one hit in America. Don't worry though, the trucks will be here all night, so if you guys want to check them out and expect it, We'll, uh, we'll be there for us. I'll turn it over to John, who is back there with Steve. Yeah, thanks. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, Denny. Hey, um, guys, yeah, continue to make your way back. Come on back. The party's back here. Come on. Come on back. Hey, Steve, I, I just have to tell you. Here tonight. Um, you know, and on behalf of the entire Mac family, we want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the Mac family. It's great to have you. Thank you, John. 
It's an honor for us to be here. It's really cool to get to write this song for such a great brand and not only a truck, but a tradition that you guys have here. So thank you for having us. You know, Steve, when we first got together in Nashville, I was so impressed by your humility, your clear dedication to your craft, and the authentic connection that you feel to the hardworking men and women, the professional truck drivers, out there every day keeping our economies moving. You're what we would call a real Mac guy. <laughs> well, the more I learn about Mac, I take that as a great compliment, John. Thank you so much. Yep. I really appreciate it. And Steve, are there any, just one more quick question, are there any um, certain parts of the song, any lyrics or any, any sections of the Born Ready song that r really are most meaningful for you? Honestly, I mean, maybe that missing you baby line. That's the one, you know, and I, I, because any time you have a job like we have or like a truck driver has and you're away from home, you're away from somebody you love. And that's really what we get paid to do, to get a job done. Um, so that's that's the first line that comes to mind. But um, but there's a lot. I really I really loved writing this song. I, re I there was there was so much inspiration for it. It came really easily. So, yeah. Well, I tell you what. I'm going to get out of the way now and let you guys do your thing, ladies and gentlemen. Performing for the first time live here in Allentown tonight, Steve Mokler and his band. Let's give him a big round of applause. Don't let it go. 
Thank you, Mac Trucks. Good to be here. Wow, fantastic, fantastic, Steve. Hey, to you guys out on the web, this concludes tonight's web stream. Thanks so much for joining us, and have a fantastic evening. You guys want to hear?